Okay, so you've installed Prem Composer. Now there are a couple of minor things that you need to do to get ready to work with it. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your system units are set appropriately. In the Customize menu, go to Unit Setup and make sure that your display unit scale is set to metric and meters. Next go to System Unit Setup and make sure that one system unit is equal to one inches. Once you've done that, you also need to make sure that you get your user grid set up appropriately so that uh, the grid lines on the screen are meaningful. Go to Customize, Grid and Snap Settings, and in the Home Grid, set the grid spacing to a meaningful unit such as one meter. In this case, uh, with grid spacing one meter, it means that each of these blocks on the in the viewport is one meter in size. There will be a darker line every tenth uh, meter, and the, the 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 grid will go out for uh, seven meters right now. So this grid is seven meters in each direction. So you want to get those set up so that they're meaningful, so that you understand what you're seeing when you're building things on the screen. The final thing that you need to do is to go into Customize Preferences and under Rendering make sure that you uncheck the, the True Color Output Dithering. If you don't, if, if this is checked, you're going to get distortion in your sculpties when you create them. So make sure that you turn this off. That's it. Now you're ready to create some sculpties or other prims and export them from 3ds Max to Second Life and OpenSim.